job about six years. I've been on patrol for five. It's a really good area, a lot of good people. This job is something that I wanted to do for a long time. I think this is going to be the career I'll be in until I retire. And something new every day, it seems like. So the, the job stays really fresh. We're en route to a call of somebody breaking into a garage of a empty residence. I guess the owner of the house died or passed away recently and uh, all the belongings are still in there. So I think the subject is still in the house. Gray sweatshirt, blue Levi's, and a phone in his hand. Copy that. Corey, stay on that side of the house and watch that side just in case he hops out a window or something. Hey, Sarge. They said he came in through this window right here. So we're not going to be able to get through there. You still hear him moving? I don't know how, any other way he could have came out. Can you hear movement? No, I'm not on this side. I heard it all the way on the other side of the house. What was our time frame? Like, his, when I called it out, he was still in that room rummaging around. He didn't know I was here. Could he see me up front? I don't think so, because I was below the window. Let's move to the back and see if I... Uh... We got broken glass inside of the slider. Show us your hands now, Sheriff's Department. Show me your hands. Sheriff's Department, you better show your hands. Get out! Get out! Get out of here! Show me your hands now. Get out! Your hands. Let me see your hands. Give us your hands. Stop resist. Give us your hands. Got it. Got it. Get the right. Get the right. Cuff. 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 I got it. Sarge. Here we go. Here. Here. There's one. Watch blood. Rotate his wrist, rotate his wrist. There you go. Good. Double lock. I don't know what he's got in his pocket. Change. I know you already touched, but. Yeah. I got it frozen. You lock him up? Double lock him, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna go to sleep. He's going to sleep? Just sleep. You, you, you like to rummage through drawers while you're trying to sleep? We heard you. Come on now. Anybody else with you? No. We're all over. That's my buddy. All over. I swear to God, I'm not doing it wrong. It's gonna go. Is this your house, sir? I just gonna go to sleep. I'm sorry. Is this your house, sir? I just, I'm homeless, man. I'm homeless. Yeah. Well, I think we gathered that. I don't know dope. I'm not worried about dope. I'm looking for weapons. No weapons. I swear. I'm not. No firm. We got one in custody. Pick this up. Yes, sir. No firm. 18 Paul 31. Well, we're gonna turn you. And you're gonna lift, okay? Uh, I, 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 I can do it. Check his groin and stuff out of here. Cheers, I'll check his groin. Here, here grab, the, no, grab gonna, the side of his pants. We're gonna deal with that Take my money, please. We'll get it. That's the stuff you got from this house, sir. No, sir, that's my money. That's my money. Hey, it's funny. That's my money. Hold your pants. You got them? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. I'm willing. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not. Hey, separate your feet. Let me get some lace. Copy that. I had money. I had. I had money. I, I had money. 
This All these one. unique coins are yours, right? Well, I had money. I had money, yes. How much money did you have, sir? Thirty-six one dollars. Okay. Where's those uh, rare coins from? I had them. I, I've been, I've been canning them. Rare coins you have? Yes, sir. That's kind of hard to believe, sir. Have a seat. Sit down. I will. Yes. Put your leg in the car and sit down, please. Yes, sir. There's a drawer over here that's open. You can see it's like a collector box. The collector coins going through it and all that, all sorts of stuff. It looks like he's had some, grabbed some jewelry and possibly some keys, so. And it looks like he was actually loading this up too, Sarge, look. He just grabbed a bag. He, he grabbed a bag and put a whole bunch of stuff, all the coins, all the change, cigarette, or matches and stuff like that. Um, looks like he was going through all the drawers and getting as much coins and change as he could. We get a lot of calls of possible burglaries in progress. It's nice to actually have one occur and we catch the guy inside the house. I was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. Been here for 28 years. Been working with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for four years. I love this job, I love this town. My father was a police officer, still is with the state of Nevada. And uh, I've always wanted to follow in his footsteps and finish my career as he has with law enforcement. And a shooting call just came out. Looks like we got a man down. Two officers already cleared the apartment where it occurred. We got the suspect in custody. Okay, copy. Unit say killing for the victim on the t-shirt long sleeve. Should be bleeding from the arm. And he left with two males. So we don't know how many times our victim's been shot. All we know is that he's walking away from the scene, walking around with a gunshot wound somewhere. Uh, uh, that looks like him. There's a white male bleed from the left side of his shirt. Step in front of my car and show me your hands. Step in front of the car. Patrol 3 North 4. North 4, I got the white male. He's in front of my car with the BMA, roll medical. Just north of Cambridge. Man. All right, you got ID on you? Hey, huh? come here, grab a seat. Yeah, I do. Grab a seat, come here, grab a seat. Grab a seat. Come here, lean back, lean back, lean back. Grab a seat. Okay. I got ID in my left back pocket. Again? It's on left back. You know me, man? I know you. I didn't do nothing. Hey, pat him down. Relax, relax. What's going on? They shot me, man. Who did? White dude who stayed next door to us. We What's he look like? What's he look like? He's, relax, he's a white dude, okay? We What's he wearing? We playing ping pong. Okay, he had like a white t-shirt on. Three North Four, on. go ahead. And we was playing ping pong. I still don't know what is going on, man. But where you get shot at? Where in the stomach? Where at? Oh, in stomach, the stomach? I guess in the arm, you know, in the stomach too, I guess. You know, I'm not even sure, dog. I ain't never shot before, shot home. Relax, 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 relax. Well, well it's obvious I'm bleeding, but he he popped he popped three rounds off on me. Door four, it looks like he has and it was for one shot to the stomach and one to his left arm. Doesn't look life threatening. I was walking away from him, man. I seen the, the pop pop and I'm like, you know, I don't want to be too close to the pop pops. When I shot him, he shot me, man, because you, you just ain't going to grab me, but I was walking away, dog. Victim can pause to identify him. What are you guys doing over there? So, the other dude, okay, the other roommate is real cool, okay? I'm from Jersey, he's from Jersey, and all that so we're playing ping pong, but the other dude decided that he got a problem. So he told us to leave, so my girlfriend ran away. No, no, my girlfriend ran away. Yeah, but I'm trying, I don't know, man. And his left arm and one in his stomach. So my girlfriend ran away, and I'm out here looking for her, okay, okay with, with him. 
Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. You didn't witness anything in there? I saw like, I saw like I saw him earlier today, uh -huh. but I didn't like actually witness it. I heard it almost like close, but then it was just. How many shots did you hear? Three. I thought it was it sounded like four. Four? Yeah. Three, okay. Between three and four. Okay. You were you in the room playing ping pong? I was there earlier. When, like, okay. That's what he's. He wanted to look for his girlfriend. Okay. And I'm like, man, lay down. I'm the one. That Is his girlfriend it. hanging out with that guy? Is that what's going on? She okay. over there, you know? All right, the victim's in route to the hospital. We got units heading down there to uh, interview him, figure out the whole story, and uh, I got to go to the scene and interview the suspect. We got the gun in custody. We got the suspect in custody. We got a witness that's coming back over to here. Pause to identify the suspect. Here's one that was inside playing ping pong with our victim. At what point did you get hit um, while you're playing ping pong? Not for a loop, I do not know. So you don't know when you got hit? The lights out of my face. I, I do not okay. know. No, sir. Sure, yeah, because I'm trying to, you, you told my officers earlier that the, um, that you got into a fight in the apartment. You were beating them in the ping pong game, an argument ensued, you asked them to leave. And <clears> at which point they started, one of them hit you once or twice in the face. Right, and I can right, see right, see the injury. Right, you got right. one on on your lip there and on those. I can see that. Right. Get them to leave. Them to leave again. No, no. Ask, hey, them, ask them to leave, them leave again. again. I just want to know what happened. Okay. I shot somebody. Well, I know. Punched me in the face. Okay, but did you shoot it? Because see, yes. If sir. if if you asked them to leave after they hit you, and then way after. Okay. And then hit me again. Okay, and then, and then they, they hit left. Me again. But no, they left. They hit me again. Okay. Three so, times they hit me. Uh, I'm not disputing that. But where did you shoot them? Inside. In, inside the house? Yes, sir. And I shot them up close twice. We have three to four witnesses to the shooting. Right, and sir. right now, they're lined up back there behind the patrol cars. And each one is bringing up a different witness to conduct a one-on-one -on -one of the uh, suspect. And that witness positively identified him as a shooter. And how many shots did you fire? I want to say it's two, but... but uh, you're not sure, but you think it's two? Yeah, man. OK. All right. OK. And well, what happened after that? I stopped getting punched in the face. OK. Sergeant has a couple questions for you. Did, why were you carrying your gun? <sighs> I have a, a permit to carry one. I, I have no problems with that. But why? Did you anticipate any problems or anything? No, 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 sir. I, I, I carry it with me all the time. OK. This is a suspect's gun that he used to shoot our victim. We got the suspect in custody, we got the victim, we've got three witnesses that can positively identify our suspect, uh, we got the firearm in custody, so now we're just having the uh, ID come and process the scene, recover any shell casings, evidence that might be in, part in the apartment, and uh, she's going to process the suspect's clothes because it looks like he has blood splatter from the victim on him. Then we're going to transport him to jail and book him for attempt homicide. I started uh, getting into police work because uh, we did security when I was uh, playing football in college. There was a couple times that I really got to help somebody. I had this one lady who I didn't know who she was, but she came up to me after uh, this uh, security detail and she says, I don't know you, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you what you did for me was the nicest thing anyone's ever done. And for me personally, there's no better feeling than that. The other lawnmowers here, 10 4, brand new from We just got dispatched to a uh, domestic assault in progress. Uh, it's between two uh, two brothers, 19 year old and a 17 year old. We'll swing in there and see what's going on. One Bravo 35. One Bravo 35. Very class to a 73. I'm going to be 51. One out three, six tennis. Hey, what's going on? What's going Hi. on? What's going on? Uh, two kids are fighting each other. Your two kids? Yeah. Are they inside right now? One's in the house, one's in the backyard, and the other one's saying he's going to run away now because I took sides with the one brother. What's up, buddy? Come on out. I'll tell you exactly what happened. What's going on? How'd you get all those scratches? From my brother just now. Just this now? is exactly what happened. He takes these pills called Adderall, you know, for ADD. Uh -huh. I don't know that. Yes, I do, because he tells me straight up. That's what I try and tell him. He never wants okay, to believe me. All this right. is your brother? You, li yeah, you live here brother. with your brother? The kid, I, I love the kid. I don't want to fight him or anything like uh -huh. this. So he wakes up. It's 3 o'clock. Okay. He's sleeping all day, staying up all night, you know? So I say, oh, good morning. It's only 3.30 or something. And he's like, oh, why you go through my bag? 
my sandals I forgot at his friend's house, who okay. he's roomated with, you know? Okay. He got them back yesterday and claims that they're his. I said, no, look at the colors. Those are definitely mine. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, buddy, come here, man. Listen, so then he comes after me in my room. He's in my room throwing everything. Hey, buddy. Yeah, well, come on, face the music. I told you. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just have a seat right here. What's going on? What are you guys fighting over? Okay, just start talking. Just tell me you what. You too. You can get out of here. You no, got to get out of here. You're the main you reason. You can too. Tell you okay, so I come home from Gainesville. I'm in college all year long. Mm -hmm. I get some sandals from my buddy who says they're not my little brother's. So then I say, okay, they're not his. He goes in my rummage rummages through my while I'm sleeping today. And I ask him, so he takes my sandals. So going to the bathroom, oh, where are they? So I started looking through his room. A surfboard falls on the ground. He starts running after me. What do you think my first impression is going to be? Tackle him. So he gets me in a chokehold. That's why my knees are all up. OK. Are you on any medication, anything like you that? You can drug test me. I do not take Adderall. Just ask him. OK. What was your name? What was your name again? I'm sorry. Chris? OK. I do not take Adderall. I don't have enough money to buy Adderall. Do you need EMS? No. I mean, this is over, you know, a $20 pair of sandals. It's all stemmed over shoes. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. so I got this argument going on in my house right now. Who are those Tommy sandals? Yeah, I, you know, I, they left really sitting around here. So so now I found out he's lying to him saying, oh, they're not, because his roommate's lying to him saying, oh, no, right. they're not Tommy's. All he did is saw the sandals sitting on the top of his his uh, travel okay. bag. So that, got, that's how the argument started, was yeah. over the sandals? So he gets up, knocks he gets the surfboard up, goes over. into the bathroom, or, or, you know, goes in and said, I'm going to start getting the rest of my crap out of there. Okay. So, well, you know, get out of my room. No, I want my stuff. And a surfboard falls over. First, uh, it's not his surfboard. It's he his tackles board. him. They all right, start They start up. arguing. So okay. I said, I tell you what. I get back here. I said, you, since you got the car, you get in your car and leave. 19 years old. Mm-hmm. 17 year old. Yeah. So I said, one of you guys got to get it. Well, so he starts. He decides he's gonna pack it and leave. All right, man. Here's where we're at. By your own admission, you were the primary aggressor. You aggressed the situation, physical confrontation, instead of maybe using the phone to call us or something like that. Okay. So, unfortunately, you're going to go to jail today, okay? Simple battery, domestic, okay? What's up? Take me. I'm going. Well, you want to get the shirt on or something? No, oh, I'm going to jail. That's yeah, the story. Let call? me check these cuffs, all right? Yeah. Can you get, them a get, get, get to the fifth cops they arguing over? Yeah. Have you ever been arrested before? No, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh. You okay? I'll see, buddy. Watch your head, all right? Yeah. And where are you actually fighting? In the room? Yeah. Can you show me? No. Oh, this is, he dumped out his book bag. Oh, this is his book bag, though, right? He tackles me from right here. He's pulling me back right here. I'm trying to get him with my feet, telling him stop, telling him stop. Right. And finally, I had to grab him and hit him once. And I kept him in the lock, and I said, Chris, stop, Chris, stop. He keeps trying to go. So finally, I kicked him and started hitting him and then ran. That's okay. all I did was ran straight out the door and then called you the second I was out the door. And how? And you got those marks on your chest how? His pimples. Oh, those are pimples? And then he gets all upset and punched the wall. Sorry. My bad. You going to yeah. fix that for your dad? Yeah, he better. Sure. Yeah, Come home and said, take Chris aside. So who's so going what? to jail? Oof, the person who needs to go. So who called? I was going to. So what, that, what does that mean I'm favoring him if he's going to well, jail? Then, right when you walked in, you said, Chris... What's going on? Okay, listen, man. Yeah. This is silly, man. Okay? All right, we're going to get you some paperwork and have you fill out some things, okay? So what happens so now? So he's being charged with simple domestic battery. So does he okay. stay overnight? Um, yeah, he'll stay overnight. He'll have a fir uh, first appearance first thing in the morning. All right. Okay, and he'll be in contact. He'll have all the yeah, I was hoping we could opportunities just say, to contact. Uh, somebody could come just say, can you guys get along and make them shake hands? But I don't know if that's going to happen. Hey, you know what? Years ago, that could yeah. happen. But the way the domestic laws are in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. you can't do it. Once, once people, it's one thing to argue, but once people start putting their hands on each other, you know, then that's when the crimes occur. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at, okay? All right. So. Hey, man, I got your sandal.
Do you understand how, how silly this whole thing started, man? Yeah, no, I understand. They handed over these sandals, okay? You guys are fighting over these sandals. Here, put them on. All right. You guys are fighting over these here sandals. And now you're going to go to jail and you're going to have an arrest history.